Welcome back everybody, Ash just dropped today with the most cosmetics we've seen for a licensed character and we found something in the files that implies a future partnership between Behaviors Dead by Daylight developers and Twitch. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and start with his Prestige 3 outfit because that's why a lot of people come to these videos. So this is what he'll look like at Prestige 3. Luckily his normal clothes are pretty badass so that helps add to it. Obviously now the glove will separate from him so you can actually choose what glove you want instead of whatever default one is stuck with the outfit. Up next, we can see that Ash has been planning on going on vacation, apparently doing some ventriloquism. I really like the puppet. Um, I think if I play Ash, that's what I'm going to run on him for the most part. Next, we can see how he affords that vacation. It looks like he collects grocery shop carts out in the parking lot. I'm not the biggest Evil Dead person, so I don't get all the references. A few people do. Go ahead and comment below. I'm sure people would appreciate it. It's hard to see his gloves showing up in any kind of close detail, so I just wanted to go ahead and put them up here so you guys can actually see what they look like. Pick out your favorites for later on when you start playing them. I think my favorite would be the puppet. It'd be kind of funny to see him walking around with it and i could see me and my friends having a fun time joking about it asking if they can do any voices and stuff like that but now what you guys have been sticking around for are the partnership between behaviors dead by daylight developers and twitch it looks like dead by daylight is launching something called twitch challenges and it looks like it's about ready to go into beta now i'm assuming that this means if people do stuff for twitch streamers like maybe watch their content interact something like that they get stuff over in dead by daylight like maybe blood points or the cells or something like that or maybe this is something that you have to do on twitch that will transfer over to dead by daylight if you're a streamer like maybe a certain number of followers play a certain amount of hours watch a certain amount of content there was no information in the files about this it was just labeled as the twitch challenges and it was under banners so this is something that will definitely end up coming to the game, or at least as long as they can keep it worked out between them and Twitch, it'll be in the game. All right, so let me know in the comments if you got any of those Evil Dead references, what's your favorite skin that's coming out, and what is your speculation on the Twitch challenges? I'd love to hear all of it, and the comments are free to all of you. You guys know the routine. If you like the video, leave a like, share, and if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel and come back for more.